Bell Staff is having a pretty big year. It is their 100th anniversary, it's their centenary, centenary, however you want to pronounce it, you are correct. And they've got a load of legacy designs. We've got things like the Brooklyn's, the Trial Master here, for example, which have been updated, revised, and there are some really nice changes actually with these. I will explain as I go through. We've also got a load of new designs as well, so you'll see a lot more videos from us explaining this new range for 2024. Now, we are big fans of Bell Stuff, have been for a long, long time, and our customers seem to like them as well. Now, one of the things with Bell Stuff is the question that comes up about whether or not the quality is that much better than competitors. And it's a really hard thing to put into words. It's very difficult even to just use images to get that across to you. It is the kind of thing that you need to try on the jacket for yourself, even better than that, live with it for a while. You will start to see why they are so highly touted in the industry. And I myself have the Brooklyn's, for example. One of my favorite things about that jacket is how well it's aged. I got it as soon as I started for Urban Rider, and I've worn it a lot since then, and it still looks really, really good. So with the styles and the names that you're probably already familiar with, the likes of the Brooklyn's, for example, or the Trial Master, as we obviously have here, the jackets that you instantly recognize as being a bell staff design. There have been two really big updates for 2024. So the first of which being, despite the improvements across the jacket, it actually has a slightly lower price, which never happens with almost any manufacturer. So it's awesome to see you're getting more for less. These are now 595 pounds as of the making of this video. And significantly, they also have a CEAA certification, which is something we always suspected the originals were capable of, and we thought they were possibly underselling themselves a little bit with their single A certification. So it's great to see that we now have this double A certification, as I say, for the Trial Master, or the Brooklyn's, in fact. On to the materials. The outer material on this one being wax cotton and coming from British Millerain, a well-respected name when it comes to wax cotton. They really have a great heritage themselves, but it's an improved fabric this time around. I believe it's slightly lighter, also more abrasion resistant. It's an eight ounce British Millerain Ultra Core waxed cotton, available in either black, olive, or mahogany. And it'll be one of the first and most obvious areas where you'll notice the quality of the jacket. If you compare it to other waxed cottons, uh, it has obviously been waxed, so it is weather treated, it is water repellent, but it doesn't leave nearly the same oily residue that you sometimes get with other cheaper waxed cottons. And it's something that I really like, especially on mine, like I say, and it still looks really good even these years on. The jacket also has nylon reinforcement in the elbows and the shoulders that help it to achieve this higher safety rating. Unlike with the Brooklyn's on this design, it isn't quilted at your shoulders, but you can see that it is thicker in that area, also at your elbows. Continuing with safety, Bellstaff Favor D3O, which you'll find is level one at your elbows and your shoulders, and it has a pocket if you want to get a back protector additionally. Antique brass metal fixtures can be found across the jacket with the Bellstaff logo embossed, and this is another area where you'll notice the quality, they're just really nice to interact with, very smooth. Uh, that can't be said of all snaps necessarily. It also goes for the zips. You've got a big chunky YKK zip on the front. You've got this buckle around your neck with this knurling on the roller there, so it's really easy to open. I tend to wear mine just when it is really cold. And a word on that actually, this is gonna be slightly better at keeping out the cold and wet than the Brooklyn's, which of course I own being a shorter jacket. When it comes to the fit on this one, taller people tend to favor the Trial Master. It looks fine on me, but it's not the style I gravitate towards. Anyone over six foot probably will want the extra length of this one. And when it comes to the sizing, it is the same as the previous version. So if you have tried on a Bell Staff in the past, you know your size. It's exactly the same. The continuity does carry over onto these new jackets. Uh, we have, of course, got size guide on the website if you need to refer to it. This is a large, this sample is a large. It's fitting on the mannequin who typically is about 40 inch chest. 
Uh, on me, this is a little bit bigger. I would probably be sitting in the medium of a 38 inch chest. But like I say, double check our size guide if you ever have any questions about that. And for the Brooklyns, I can only speak on behalf of experiencing that one for any length of time. It works really well in almost any weather condition. And I wear it practically the entire year round with the exception of the height of summer when it really is warm. Or in winter, sometimes when it's really cold and wet, I'll stick on a waterproof outer. Now, although this is waterproof and it has a waterproof and breathable membrane on the inside, I tend to put my Scott waterproofs over the top just as an added windbreak, if anything, when it comes to really cold days in the winter. But honestly, this really does well across a huge expanse of the year. It's very flexible. What I will say though with the new Brooklyns is it is slightly more breathable than you'll find with this one because it has new additional vents across it. This one also obviously being longer has this belt across the midriff where you can uh, open that if you want to, fasten it around the back if you don't want to use it rather than just leaving it to dangle there but it's really quick and easy to use. It's a big chunky buckle as well and then obviously like I say opening it up you can see the inside. Now something I really like about this although it is taller it does actually zip down to your waist, to your belt line. And then the additional length here, although it fastens with the snaps, you can splay that out slightly on the bike. So if you find that this rests on the tank rather than bunching the jacket up, you can obviously just split it at the bottom, which does work really well. Obviously the zip is really smooth. I do like that from Bellstaff. And then on the inside you have their signature check pattern. You also have your Napoleon pocket there. If you have got things you want to remain dry, fully dry, then I'll use that pocket because it sits on the inside of the waterproof membrane. The outer pockets, whilst they are water resistant, aren't fully waterproof. So if you have something that needs to remain absolutely bone dry, I would recommend sticking that on the inside. And then of course you can see corduroy around your neckline and around your cuffs, really comfortable, oil resistant. It will stay looking good for a long time. You'll also notice on this one, they have removed the internal thermal liner, which you could remove on the previous generation. Now on this one, instead, what they've gone with are these snaps here. So you can stick anything you want to underneath it, obviously, when it gets colder, but they also have a climate vest, which fastens in here and just snaps in place. And it is just a vest, so it doesn't cover your arms, which actually makes it a lot easier to work with the jacket so it's not fiddly getting in the right spot or anything like that. It doesn't bunch up, uh, but it does fit in there really well if you want to add that on after the fact. And those are the majority of the details for the Trial Master. You've got the Bellstaff logo on your arm. You've got a British flag stitched in just underneath your chest pocket. And it really is a legacy line for Bellstaff. It's a name that has been synonymous with them for a long while. And it's a toss up for most people, whether or not they suit or prefer the shorter Brooklyns, as I mentioned, which you can find using the links in the description if you want to, or of course, this being slightly taller. All the links you can find in the description and you'll be able to see some more videos from us with some of their newer lines as well. So stay tuned for that. Drop any questions or comments down below if you have any. And I'll see you soon, bye.